Hello and welcome to the Django Celery Mastery course. Just a quick reminder, if you like this course and would like to access the source code and more, you can access this course on Udemy. The link to the course, which should provide the best price, is in the video description. This tutorial may seem out of place in a module named Handing Task Failures and Retries. However, the mode of delivery in this section of the course, where we are looking over code examples, we want to set up a folder structure in our project so that we can create a number of different tasks in individual files or modules. Right, so let's jump back into the code here. So we're just going to set up our project so that we can start to create tasks inside of a folder, which we can use as examples in individual tutorials in this course this might also be beneficial having a way of auto discovering tasks plus it moves forward the idea of finding tasks so just working on what we've learned so far right so we're going to keep all this set up here in the code so we are very much still going to be working uh, with this concurrency one just makes it a lot easier potentially to view the outcome of our tasks while we're developing our understanding and knowledge so what we don't need is all this other code down here so i'm just going to remove that for now you might want, want to make a copy of this file um, if you want to keep all this code in one place all these examples but i'm just going to get rid of all that everything else is going to be the same we're not going to touch the docker compose so we're going to continue using the task queue called tasks okay so there's only going to be one task queue tasks right so what we're going to have is a new folder here we call this celery celery tasks and then inside of there we have some tasks so these tasks are going to have a prefix if you like of example and then the name of the particular the name of the particular task so that's the setup there and then inside of here there may be many different tasks so we want to auto discover these tasks based upon where they are placed in this folder with the name that begins with ex and then we want to also auto discover any of the functions any of the tasks inside of those files those are obviously going to then be the tasks so that's really the challenge here to auto discover all of the different tasks that are placed in files inside of this folder where the file names start with ex okay so we've removed all the tasks here in the salary file now we do want to continue using app.task to register the function so we'll go ahead and import app into our file to begin with so from uh, d salary let's go ahead dot salary um so we'll call this now i think we'll change the name to celery config because that's very much what it is now okay let's don't let's not forget to also update the initialization file here just make sure that that is updated you can see it automatically updated for us but we obviously want to initiate celery when we load django okay so with that done let's go back into celery this is now going to be celery config and let's go ahead and import app so now we can just define a task how we have been doing so far so app dot for example task and then let's not forget to set the queue to tasks that's what our worker is looking for exclusively to process any task in the queues tasks right so let's go ahead and create a new function here let's just call this my task doesn't really matter remember because we're going to auto discover all of these different tasks we don't, don't need a code on there and then we'll just pass for now now so far we've been utilizing this app to auto discovery task function which is going to provide us the tools to in this django project automatically look for tasks in a file called tasks which may be found in different apps here in our project now we can customize this we can pass in a, a list here of places of where to to look for tasks and that's exactly really what we're going to do here so we're going to first of all find the celery task folder and then filter out all the 
or select all of the modules inside of that folder where the names of that module, where the names of those files begin with EX. And then we're going to look inside of those files and look for any functions and then utilize those function names to build a, a list of tasks that need to be passed in so that Celery can then register those tasks. Right, so let's start off by getting the current directory. So let's say base and uh, equals os dot get c uh, cwd. So this is referring to the current working directory. So this isn't the directory where this file salary config is placed. This is the current working directory for our project, which happens to be this directory here where all these files are, and folders are placed here. That's our root and that's what's uh, been defined behind the scenes as our root directory. So when we select, or in this case, when we utilize get current working directory here, that's the directory that we're going to be selecting. So we're going to need to extend that slightly. We need to go into this folder here and then select the salary task. So we just need to extend what we have already started building. So let's call this task folder. Uh, task folder equals os dot path. And we use join. So we join the base directory um, with a folder called C D salary. So that's our folder here. And then inside of that, we have the task folder. So task folder, no salary task, sorry. Okay. All right. Let's zoom out a bit. Give yourself a little bit of room. There we go. So let's create a conditional. So let's say if the os.path um, dot exists. So if the path exists, so if there is a, a task folder, task folder, then and if, for example, the, the path dot is directory task folder. So the folder here that we found, if it is a it does exist and it is a is a directory then let's go ahead and set up an empty list so this is the list that we're going to pass into the auto discovery tasks so this is what we're going to be building up so an empty an empty list and then let's go ahead now and find all the files and then inside the files, we'll look for any functions in those modules, in those files. And then we'll be able to construct a list of all the tasks that we want to then pass into the auto discovery task function. So first of all, then we'll get a list of all of the files and directories present in a specific directory. And we do that through os.lister, list directory. So let's do that first. Right. So for uh, for file name in OS dot list directory uh, task folder. Okay. So that's going to give us a list of all the files inside of our folder here called salary tasks. You can see what we're doing is we're going to utilize that within this for loop so for every file we find we're going to loop over that file and then perform an additional task so first of all what we want to do is filter out any of those files remember that all these tasks inside of here all, this, all these examples in our salary task folder those are all going to start with the name ex so we want to ensure that we only list through files which start with that file name. So let's do that next. So if the file name uh, starts with, and that's going to be ex, um, and the file name, and the file name uh, ends ends with, let's call this dot py. 
what we're going to need from here is the actual name of the file because that's what we're trying to do remember uh, if we go back into an example of registering a task remember what we need to do we need to specify the the path to that task as well as the the name of our module and then the task so we're just constructing all of that here so let's say module is the module name or file name um, that's going to equal uh, decelerate decelerate um, dot celery tasks these are all constants of course so these tasks are always going to be in this folder structure decelery dot celery tasks and then dot and then file name and then of course this file name will include the pi extension so what we're going to need to do there is just remove that so we just slice that off at the end so minus three so that will remove the dot py extension at the end of the file name so that is going to then start that starting uh, the process of building the item one of these items in our list that we're passing over to auto discover tasks so what we'll end what we're left with now is just to be able to identify the functions so that we can add this name of a function whatever the function might be in there to the end of this and then we can finish that off by adding that to our list here and then pass it into our auto discover tasks right so let's do that so let's import the module dynamically so module equals uh, this is going to be import module name from list and star so what we've done here is we've dynamically imported a module in python so it's kind of an older way of importing modules and less commonly used compared to for example the import statement so by doing this this will provide us access to the objects defined in this module so we can now go inside of module here and then find any of the functions in this case and then grab their names and then we can finish off the import string which we're going to pass into the auto discover tasks so to find the actual functions we simply say for name in the module just module okay so just module and let's go ahead and say object equals let's get attribute it's going to be module name um, and then if if callable object and name dot starts with um, my task let's go ahead and say tasks or task module dot append So we want to append the task module. Now at the moment, the task module, this is what's currently inside the task module. So we want to append it now to include the module name and then the name. So that's going to be module, module name and then dot name. Should be task modules. Okay. Uh, just tidy up this. So that should be called my task. So to simplify this, we simply go ahead and find all the files inside of the folder. We then essentially import them so that we can iterate through those files or modules and then look for any callable. So we're looking for any functions. Now, obviously, I've extended this so that we only find functions with the name my task. There's only going to be one in my case there's only going to be potentially one uh, task inside of these files which is going to be called my task but you can take that out and then once we've done that we then append the existing module name that we've set up here uh, with the name of the the function 
in this case it's going to be my task all the time but obviously you can change this line here and there we go so we now have everything set up so we just need to pass that back into the into the list here and then pass it into auto discovery tasks okay so we've already appended the task modules list so let's just pass it into app auto discovery so we need to just bring that over one and then let's pass that in so task modules okay so we only have one task here that's called my task in this current setup we've removed everything else so let's go back into docker here and what we can do is just go into the celery one here let's do a refresh so this was all the old tasks so we do a refresh that should now pick up the new task okay there we go so it's now found the new task of course if i would add more tasks i've renamed them my task one my task two let's go back into our configuration here let's just remove this and clause there and let's try this out so let's go back into desktop here let's refresh so there should now be two tasks my task one and my task two so you can see that it has now indeed found those two tasks okay so with that done let's move across to the next tutorial